Graphs of reaction kinetics. So we'll start with rate versus concentration graphs for a single reactant A. On the y-axis we have rate, on the x-axis we have concentration. So we'll start with a zero order reaction. That's where the concentration of A does not affect the rate of reaction. So the rate concentration graph is a horizontal line. And here we have the rate expression, so it's rate equals K. Because the order of reaction is zero with respect to reactant A, we don't include it in the rate expression. Next is a first order reaction. The rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of A. So we have a straight line that passes through the origin. And the rate expression is rate equals K multiplied by the concentration of A. Next is a second order reaction. Here the rate is proportional to the square of the concentration of A and we have this curved line. The rate expression is rate equals K times the concentration of A to the power 2 and the gradient is proportional to the concentration. So next we have graphs for the concentration versus time. On the y-axis we have concentration, on the x-axis we have time. So for a zero order reaction the rate equals K we have a constant rate and the gradient of the line equals K. Next is a first order reaction. The rate equals K times the concentration of A and we have this curved line. The rate is decreasing with concentration. And finally a second order reaction. We have this curved line and the rate equals K times the concentration of A to the power 2. So here's an example question. A student experimentally determined the rate expression for this reaction to be rate equals K, the concentration of the thiosulfate ion to the power 2. And you're given four graphs A, B, C and D and which graph is consistent with this information. So we look at A first. None of the graphs that we looked at just now have this kind of shape. So it's not A. C, we've seen this kind of graph before. This is a zero order reaction. D, this is a first order reaction and B this is a second order reaction. So because overall this is a second order reaction the correct answer is B.